Hello everyone, my name is Matteo and I designed the Tolkien keycaps. These are still prototypes, but they are fairly close to the final thing and they are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I, I know this is the, the fun boy talking, uh, I am a huge Tolkien fan and I always wanted a kit like this, but I this is probably the, the, the keycap set I've designed that I am most attached to. So this is a very important video for me because I get to show you how to write in Elvish with these keycaps. This is not just a, a fancy keyboard showing uh, random Elvish characters, this is a functional uh, keyboard you can use to write in Sindarin, which is awesome. The thing that you guys asked the most is probably the black speech version. There is a foul voice on the air. And I totally agree with you. We have very, very little material to work on uh, to write in the black speech. So it is not easy, for example, to make the uh, modifiers. So I'm trying to find a way to make a black speech version uh, possible. I, I don't know when, I don't know if, but I'm working on it. And of course the colors will be dark. But no ABS. Okay then, time to write some Sindarin. So the first thing you need to do is to download the Tanguar font, uh, Google Tanguar Sindarin font. And the first result should be on dafont.com and uh, Tanguar Sindarin by Daniel Steven Smith is a good one. Download it, install it, and in the archive you will find uh, the font itself and a very important reference guide, the Tanguar Help, that we will use later. As a first exercise, I want to just copy an Elven text. If you already have the Tanguar, copying an Elven text is extremely simple with this keyboard because this is a kind of what you see is what you get kind of deal. So all you have to do is type the characters as you see them. So I'm going to write this text here. That is what is written on our escape key. So later we will also find out what uh, this means. The first character is this one. Then we have the three dots. By pressing shift, I can type the three dots here. And we have many options that they are all the same. It just changes the position of the three dots. So we want them in the middle. Then we have this kind of Y, again, the three dots then this one that looks like an H and the I with this little guy over here. I mean, it was super easy. Okay, but what did we actually write? Mm, to translate from text to speech, uh, we need uh, a little help from the Tanguar help uh, PDF file that is uh, inside the font that we just downloaded. If you scroll down, you will find reference to write in uh, various uh, Elvish languages. What we need is the standard um, Sindarin, that is this one. And now all we have to do is to uh, find the, the character and see what it means. Or actually, see how it sounds. Here things get a little complicated because when we wrote this uh, word, we started with the main uh, character, that is this one, and then we added the three dots on top. The, the main character is the consonant and the three dots is the vowel. But when you actually read this word, you start from the character that is above, so the three dots. So we start looking for the three dots. 
as I said, it's a vowel, so we have to look for the vowels. And here it is. So the three dots, it's an A. Next, the main character. You have to scroll up and it's a W. Then again, the three dots, A. And finally, this is just an helper character that is used to write the vowel, so it has no sound. So the word is awarto. So what does awarto mean? Uh, to find out, we look for a Sindarin dictionary. So, Sindarin dictionary. The first one should be good enough. And we look for Awarto. As you can see, we do not have awarto. Um, it is very likely a verb that is not at the infinite form, so we try to find the root by removing some character from the end. And indeed, we have awarta here. There is a verb that means to forsake, to abandon. That is exactly what the escape key means. Now I want to try to do the opposite, starting from a word that I know how it is pronounced, but I don't know how it is written. So to do that, I want to try to write Minno, that you probably remember from the West Gate of Moria. I search mean no probably I can find it and of course it means to enter again the form mean no with the ending o is to make it stronger so it is do enter now I'll try to write mean no for that I need again the tangler help and I look for the sound and write down the the character the first one is an m which is this one then uh, I have I, but uh, the vowel goes over the, the following consonant, so I need to write N before, so N. Then I can write I, which is the dot. Yes, it is, uh, in the right position in the, in the middle. Then you would be tempted to write another N, like this, but there is a more elegant way, that is by putting an underscore under the character, so this is a double. Then uh, I need the O, to write the O I need the helper character, that is this one, and we know already how to write O, that is this one. So this is Minno. How cool is that? But wait a minute, this is not how it is written on the Gate of Moria, right? I have it here. You are right. This is Minno on the Gate of Moria. Why it is not the same? Because the Gate of Moria, it is written in Sindarin in the mode of Beleriand, which is not the standard Sindarin that uh, we used so far. If we scroll down a little in this file, we should find the mode of Beleriand. So now we try to uh, write the same uh, word in uh, the mode of Beleriand, and you also find out that with this keyboard you can uh, not also write in standard Sindarin, but in uh, any mode that Tolkien invented. So, Beleriand is a completely different way of writing in Sindarin, and um, if you remember in a standard Sindarin, we have all the vowels on top of the consonant. In uh, Beleriand, it is not the case. Uh, in fact, we have the main uh, tangwar that can be uh, vowels, so we need to pay a little more attention. So let's try. We start with M, which is this one. 
then we have I here it is it is what we used as helper a character is now actually a, a letter so we can put a little dot on top of the eye it's purely cosmetics but but it, it is nice to have then we have N but if you look closely, we have also a double N, which is this one, and finally the O, that is this. And this is Minno in Beleriand, and if we look at the inscription of the Gate of Moria, you will see that this is Minno. This is simply amazing and I, I love this stuff. Now, as you understand, I am a big fan of uh, Tolkien's work, but uh, I, I am by no means an expert, so please take what I'm saying with a pinch of salt, and I hope more experienced people will uh, ch chime in and teach us how to properly write with this keyboard, but uh, I think as an introduction, this is a good start. Oh, there are so many things that I would like to cover, but I don't want to make this uh, more boring than it is already. Uh, I hope you had the stamina to follow me up to this point. And um, if, if you like this kind of uh, videos, please let me know and uh, I will make more uh, for the Dwarven language too. And um, I hope the legends make a little more sense now. Let me know what you think about them. And I hope to see some Sindarin in the comments. And see you next time. Ciao.